All right, I have already gessoed this page and I am going to take a water bottle and spritz this. And then apply just some regular craft acrylic paint. I'm using Marigold by Americana. And I'm gonna grab a brush. I'm gonna get a wide one because I'm gonna cover the entire thing. That should do it. Maybe a little bit more. Okay, and while the paint still on here wet, which is why I use the um, water. I'm going to use the alcohol inks and I've just got, you know, just some different colors that I want to use here. And I'm going to start with this purple. I think it's purple twilight. And see how it's reacting? I love the way that looks. Then I'm going to take some of this blue and I'm going to do the same thing. Try to hit different areas. And this is just, I'm just creating a background texture. I love all that inky goodness. And then do I want to come in with another color before this dries up? I'll go with the, just to give it a little bit of grungy look, I'm going to go in with like an espresso. Ah, I'm going to try to hit areas that I haven't already hit. Okay. All right, I'm gonna let that dry and I'll be back. Okay, now that this is dried, I am going to collage some nap decorative napkins on here. And I'm not gonna use the whole thing. And I wanna have like kind of a rough edge cut. So, eh, I'm just gonna take half. And okay. Now, the important thing to do with napkins when you're collaging with them is you want to make sure you take off all the paper backing. Like there's another one stuck to that. And I found the easiest way to do that is to use some removable scotch tape. I'm just wrapping it around my fingertips. And grabbing it like this on a corner. Ah. And pulling it apart. Sorry, I didn't realize I was out of frame. But grabbing it like that, pulling it apart. Ah, it tore. But that's okay. Okay. And then I'm going to, oh gosh, I keep losing this tape right here. And then you just discard that one, you know, the backing. And because it's removable tape, 
you know, it doesn't harm your design in any way. So I'm going to do that again. So just grabbing it here and here and separating it like so. Because if you don't take this backing off, what happens is, is when you put your mediums and stuff down, you um, take a chance of this um, becoming separated over time anyway. So I just go ahead and get rid of it. And then you just throw all this away. All right, and I think I'm going to play on the leaves from this napkin after I get this adhered down. I think I'm going to kind of continue on with the leaves. So I think I'm going to do something like this. And because this paper is so thin, I am just going to take a little bit of Tracy Bautista's Collage Podge and I'm not even going to do it underneath because it's so thin. You don't want to go too wet because it is very, very frail paper to work with. So you just want to be real careful with it. And like I'm going to use a soft brush here. I don't want a stiff one because I don't want to tear this paper. So. Hmm, maybe I should have gone underneath. I thought it would be thin enough that I didn't need to do that, but. And I want it to kind of wrinkle up a little bit. Um, because I like the added texture. Okay, right now it's kind of buried in the background, so. Okay, I'm going to let that dry. I don't want to overwork it because I don't want to tear it anymore. So um, I'll be back. Okay, we've run the gamut here with uh, mixed media, that's for sure. Because we have our base layer of acrylic paint. We have the alcohol inks on top. And then um, I've collaged some uh, decorative napkins. Um, and now I have um, taken uh, the Spellbinders Fancy Labels. Um, I took one of the three that's included in the set, and I took some watercolor paper and ran this through my Sizzix and embossed it as well. Um, and just to speed things along, I already cut everything out, so this is good to go. I'm going to flip it over here. And now... I am going to stamp with some black stays on. I am going to stamp just a Donna Downey. Um, I have a couple of her stamp sets that have quotes and stuff. And this is Art Journey. And I think it's pretty apropos for this page because, uh, like I said, kind of running the gamut here on different mixed media techniques. So it's definitely a journey. So. I am going to stamp this quote right here in the middle. And I'm using the stays on because I'm going to paint over this. And I will show you that in just a second. So I don't want um, I don't want the stamp to run, so I'm using the stays on. 
because I can put a wet medium over it and that will stay intact. So, I'm going to put that to the side for just a second because while I have my stamp pad out, I am going to take, I have this um, Tim Holtz, it's from his uh, Papillon um, stamp set and I am going to ink this up just kind of stamp all over my page here. What the heck? Hmm. All right. So now that I got that stamped, I'm going to take a second to clean my stamp here. Okay, so I've got the stamping out of the way, so I'm done with that. All right, and then I'm gonna lay this uh, title down. But before I do, I am going to color this. And what I'm going to use is one of the Twinkling H2O colors that I have. And I am just going to pick a color here and go over it. And that's the great thing about these Twinkling H2Os because they are um, transparent. So I can color over this whole thing and um, you'll still be able to see that um, stamp title underneath it. So, but now i got to figure out a color that I want to use that I think is going to pop. Unfortunately, I have so many, you know, colors on this page already. It's already super busy with color, so not really sure where I'm going to go with that. I may just use like, uh, hmm, no, that's kind of the same color. Um, I'm going to use like this teal, so I'm going to use like this teal color here. What is this? Teal Zircon is this color. It's gorgeous. It's a very gorgeous color. So, and I got this um, H2O um, palette, paint palette, from Donna Downey Studios. Um, so just go online to DonnaDowneyStudios.com and you can find these paint palettes. I need to get another one now. So I've got some more twinkling H2Os and I need to, I actually could fill up another one of these paint palettes. So I'm going to take a watercolor brush and I'm going to come in here. I actually should have uh, been hosing that down already. I'm actually going to take, you take a water bottle and I'm trying not to do this over my work, but then you just kind of spray a little bit in there. To loosen that up. Okay. Now I'm just taking a watercolor brush coming right in here. And now I'm just going to go over this.
I love the Twinkling H2O's because they have all that shimmer to them. I like shimmer. I'm definitely a glittery, shimmery girl. Okay, I'm going to let that dry for a minute, set that to the side, let it dry for a minute. Ah, I'm making a mess. Okay, and now, while that's drying, I think what I'm going to do get my next step ready. Let's see if I'm back in frame here. There we go. Okay. And now what I was going to do is I was going to take some of the Liquitex glass beads and that's what that looks like. I'm going to take a palette knife and I'm going to take a little container here. And I'm just going to dollop some of that in here. I think that'll be good. Because so what I'm going to do is just kind of go randomly all over this page with this glass bead. But just like the title has some shimmer, I want to put a little bit of shimmer in with this glass bead gel. So what I'm going to do is take some golden iridescent pearl fine and mix it in here with the glass bead gel. And I'm using white because there are already so many busy colors here. I just want to come in and bring some white in to make the page pop a little bit. So just going to add some of that to the get the color I want. Mix it up. And I'll see if I want any more. Whoa. Try not to go crazy plop, flopping it all over the place here. There we go. Now you can see how that looks. So I think that's good. I'm going to stick with that. Get my paint covered back up here. All right. I'm going to sit down for this. I've been standing up all that time. And now I'm just going to come in. And what I want to do is, because it's such a busy page with the pattern, there are some butterflies on that decorative napkin but they're really buried in this busy background. So I'm just gonna kinda go around those. Butterflies and try to make them stand out a little bit. Although I don't wanna cover it up. Okay. Oops, I forgot. I need to get my title laid down before I do that because I think I'm going to go over with the glass bead gel on some of this title as well. So I'm going to heat dry that for a second because it's still pretty damp. Okay, 
I just wanted to dry it up a little bit because what I want to do is run it through the Xyron so that I can stick it down. I like to use the Xyron on these cuts that have these really, you know, intricate details because then the sticky stuff goes right there. You don't have to worry about glue oozing out. So, It'll go right there. Kind of want it offset a little bit. I'm just going to use my brayer to get it down really good. All right. <clears throat> now back to the glass beads. Wow, my allergies are going wacko. Everything's blooming right now, so I'm kind of a mucusy mess right now. Hmm, that may be too much information. Kind of go down into this title a little bit. Now that I'm looking at this, that may be too white. I just don't know. making a mess. Like I said, I'm just picking random spots all over this to kind of go around it. and It looks like I didn't get enough of the glass bead mixture here, so I'm going to come off the page. up a little bit more of this and um, do a little bit more um, to the page so I will be back oh my gosh epic fail 
All right, I hated that. So I took a bunch of wet wipes and just completely wiped everything off that I just did. I hated it. So now I've got like glass beads everywhere. That was a complete waste of material, which I hate to do. I hate wasting product. So, but I just, I couldn't stand it. It was just a hot mess. So now, now I think I am, what I'm going to do first is I decided I took off most of that tag. I scraped most of that off. Um, but I did still keep the main part that says art journey because boy, this has definitely been an, a journey. I'm going to take a dater stamp and I'm going to use this as my date as well. So stamping that on there and oh boy. Yeah. Really couldn't figure out what I was going to do here. So I am going to take. A paint dabber, an Adirondack paint dabber in white, and this Diane Reevely stencil. And I'm just going to kind of go randomly over, because again, I just need some other kind of color to pop in here. So, all right, I'm just going to come in here. And if I hate this, <laughs> I'm totally screwed. boy not crazy about that not crazy about that um wow Whoops. And I guess I'll come down here in this corner here. take some of the Liquitex acrylic ink in carbon black shake it up I think I'm just gonna come in here Kind of made a little splotchy mess there. That's okay. You know, I think I may do some splotch. Little splotches anyway. Inky messiness. 
right. That is it on that page. I'm calling it done. I will see you guys later.